Alrighty, welcome back, citizens of Dominion. And we're on part two of the day. So let's see what's in the old proverbial mailbox before we begin. Three friendship hearts and four spears. The spears is going to be vital for the rainy day season, which has only got three and a half hours left before it expires. So we can get our elemental fusion. Fusion, sorry. Bonus in of spending 10 of those summoning spears. We wait a few seconds here for it to give us the proverbial. Oh, are you really going to do that to us, Nexters? I think the answer is yes. Yes, it is. See if I can at least partially negate it until we can full zoom it back. Eh, this mostly has got everything in while we're waiting. Alrighty, so let's see what we get for the 10. And no bonuses, whether it's 30 or whatever. No water at all either. Heavily fire based, only two, even earth. So that, unlike yesterday, was a pretty terrible pull. But. At least we can get the full 2100. Grab there. Let's see. Go down our Titan's line. Hyperion needs his full 9. Vulcan 185. Moloch, 136, uh, sorry, 126. Angus, 42. Sigurd, still 478, 22 to weigh. Nova, 73. Mari, 19. Avalon, 21. And the two fire guys below. Ignis got... Looks like nothing left. And, but Sylvia... Poorly little, only two of ten earth poles. At the end, at least gets to go to her second star. Alright, so let's see what's in the daily quest envelope we haven't touched. We got those three. No. You can do chapter 3, though, once you hit, I believe it's 50, so next level. We could potentially have that one. So the experience, by the way, is updated to 413. Alrighty. So I believe everybody is. Yeah, it's going to be kept out 
on what they can do. The West is a weird, light, dark, proverbial. Well, Astrid Lucas is one round, well, actually, one item away. That one up here from going purple or violet, as the game refers. Yep. Oh, come on. So, needles. Let me fix it again. Jesus. Some days technology just likes to work perfectly fine, and other days it just wants to be the world's biggest pain. Alright, so we need two needles. Yeah, let's start with the boss bet uh, for the stone battles. Let's see what happens when we have her instead of. The flower girl. Maya. In the top five. So, I actually pretty interested in this light dark. Potential dichotomy. Thing. It doesn't look like she's getting any credit at all at the moment. It looks like she'd only need three attacks. To actually get a play. We, by the way, did get the Hero Stone in Attack 1. Whatever we do here, part three will be after the guild reset tonight. Just to give us a different set of things to do or not to do. So anything that involves rainy season, we will have to resolve in this episode. was actually fully cleaned. For the day there. You know, maybe part three may may do a little bit of a bonus. Might actually get show you some of the play on my main Kraken's account. As well. I'll have to see on that. Play that one by ear. Seems to keep swiping her build up. 
And she seemed to get like a third build up and then it would disappear again. Let's take a look again. And there it is at about a third. Now it's gone again. Wait a minute. She casted it. Does she not have to be old to cast? That would be quite interesting if that's the case. And maybe something we've got that we can actually work around on. Well, that brings Astrid and Lucas as the seventh Violet character. Don't believe it's going to do anything on the reshuffle, but we'll go out and in to make sure. Yep. So leave her at seventh. But I do believe that she, if I remember my reading right, it's an okay to good in the early game, but in the late game, she becomes rather insignificant. So it isn't really somebody you'd want to really, truly dump resources into. Alright, so let's go take a look at the quote-unquote special events currently. Which should include, of course, the rainy season and everything else. Okay. Right, we're just going to leave it at this for now. For some reason, Exters is not wanting to play right. A oh, nice. Alright. There's still going to be three days left to collect the last two of those. Rainy season to complete out that in three hours' time. We have to spend more money to get a higher VIP level to get those. 25 emeralds to get four. That might be doable. Tenacity. 540 on the energy line to get 10. That may be doable as well, but it definitely wouldn't then go for 1500 on top. 3.30, we would need 70 more stones. That's going to be a tall order. 15, we would need 3. That would cost 180 emeralds to get, because you can buy 2 and get the free one for the 3rd. Well, 180 would actually get you to 3, 455, and then that would only be about 250 to actually get that one. Okay. Any new items and quests I didn't. No of. That will be tomorrow. Fifteen to six, that might be doable because we only need five more to do that one. Oh, there's one more that's six. And there's a six. So 
put two more. Am I right on that? That puts it, what, 12? Three to go? Or you can get six more to be a second star. Problem is, I really don't want to drop resources on something I'm not exactly sure whether or not I'd want to continue to use. Now, for like things like Astaroth, Yasmin, and Kira, I really don't have a problem with them because I would expect them to be hanging around. So I'll hold off on those for now. Dungeon 200, three titans to four stars. We only got one there at the moment. Five heroes to have level five gift of elementals. Two skins to 10. 12 glyphs to 15. Nine heroes to blue, two or plus. Okay, this one we could definitely do ritual circle. The, this one? Yeah. Heck, just raid it. Hey, there's one stone. Can I get, can I have a second? Lisa, can I have a second? Thank you. Well, that completes that mission, so that goes up to the top. Ah, I clicked that and I didn't want to. Damn it. Well, we get a decent bunch of singles. Damn it, I did not want to go ahead and trigger the five portal charges. Damn Now I've got to burn at least four of these to get the free one at day change. Oh, come on. What the hell is wrong with you? Try it one more time. We'll go back to full. Hopefully. There it goes. Guys, the snow has been down on the ground for two days. You think you would learn how to, you know... Drive on snow by now. I'm sorry, I've got people squeezing, squeeching their tires outside. <laughs> Runny nose season, unfortunately. Normally, that would all it is runny nose because of. Cold weather, but now, of course, in the new normal, we unfortunately all are having to live with. Everyone immediately has to wonder if it's the panini or... <coughs> something else. Yes, in the wintertime, I've always had, unfortunately, a runny nose. It goes all the way back to elementary school. All right. Come on. It ain't even like I can cut this part early because we're only at 20 minutes. Only 
one at home, so there's absolutely nothing running on the net at all, except the game. I can't even say that the recording program is doing it, because I'm actually recording live to tape, so to speak, so that it actually gets recorded, then I upload it, instead of directly... As the first few days were, and we saw it was because of mostly of the upload that we lost a handful of frames on those first few days. Of competition. Alright, so there is no instant clear currently available in either Chapter 1 or Chapter Two. I'd be more inclined to do a chapter two, however, because we could easily Get more people to join in on a two. Okay. So the middle tower is going ahead and providing protections to the outside. The outsides, however, are what's feeding the bosses. Kirk, so you could so you can have one run that way, one run this way, one run this way, and then everybody providing that it, that the fights are done cleanly would have two shots on the boss at the end. So let's see if we can get any bodies in. We will invite anybody who's in the guild who has portal charges. Let's see if we can get something. All right. So the middle line is the strongest. The left line is the second. And the right line is for the weakest. I think I can handle the middle. Middle of the three difficulties, that is. So I'll go left. Buff of the day, skill cooldown is lessened by 50%. I think with that situation, it is going to be better to play Arachne over Celeste. Because their scores are only a few hundred points difference. If I can rack off the specials at a 2x clip. I think that would make up for the difference. If we find out the fights aren't lasting long enough to get into the specials. Then, well, we can always make the change for the second attack. We didn't get to a one round of the even at while well, the cooldown. Yeah. So what's the boast? Oh, it's a hundred percent. Oh, I think even with the boost, though, I think I can push through it.
Okay. So hero boosted, I mean enemy boosted fight. to handle the outgoing boost that goes to the boss. Ooh, they have a Isaac. So we have Chaba, Suntory, Elmir, Isaac, and Helios. Two of them are down, and that will end it. Alright, first to be on the doorstep. And the metal actually gets two attacks at the boss while the outsides get one. If we go for it now, boss decreases the damage dealt to him by 50%. It might not be possible, but let's give it a show and do. Two minutes on the clock. And I should have took my out and put the other girl in its place. I could have left the hopper just replaced my with the girl. Boss has got a chance of going down. 50 seconds in, and she's at half, just under half. Even with the boost. Boss looks like it's going down. That's it. Minute one. Even with the boost. Alright, so there's the power completion. Alrighty. Fortunately though, we do have to wait until enough is fought to complete the remaining chest. So it isn't something we can just directly file away under A for give me the money. A. Let's see. Heart. Four left.
Yeah, let's have a fight. Actually, if I'm going to post something to the guild to try to encourage bodies to go to complete that one so we can get another adventure at the raid system going, I have to grab my Cyrillic keyboard and connect it in via USB while we're fighting. Don't know really if I want to try to pull that off considering that. We're still waiting on this fight to start. Did that fight just start and finish on me at the same time? Well, the music's going, but I don't see the fight. So I guess this is the new Nexter's Invisible Fight. Now with more invisibility. Because as you can see as well as I can see. Oh, we pick up kind of like one of those sporting events. We now pick up the fight already in progress in round three. Like one of those deals where you jump on a show late in progress. Dawnguard sword. Alright, I did just hook up while that fight was going this relic keyboard and in a separate outside the stream notepad typed up a relic message. Let me go here in the guild. Cross my fingers so that it actually will paste. There it is. And put it in. That's brilliant. Okay, something I definitely didn't want, but yeah. Can't go back and take it back now. Alright, special events. Alright, so the shock power again, 63. I don't even think there's 63 left to purchase. That would cost 180 to get to 7. The 180 though would trigger the 4, so that'd get you 11 and put you about 150 away from 6. 150 away from 6 and 450 away from another 8. After the foul, then it's definitely going to be a jump where it's way beyond the bridge too far. 492. 
to go in the energy line. Well, let's head up to the airship. On the good ship, airship. Okay, blue and green items, but there is another one behind it, so we'll do it. Impressive aura completes, black and green prizes. No hosing around again, black and green. And in scepters, just black. This requires, I believe it's, what is it, adventure, um, VIP 8. Yeah, VIP 8. And then you can just do five minute missions to your heart's content. Since you have that one. Okay, so spear, spear. 500 energy and another 500 energy so there's a thousand energy sitting in the deal if I use 500 now what the heck would that do to a rainy season incredible tenacity Actually, that would be about exact what I would need then not to touch the 1500. Got two of them, right? We'll use one then. We'll use the oldest. Alrighty, so we got 500 energy time to grind to the grindstone. So, we'll do here. Is we'll jump into the campaign. See if we can complete chapter seven. See if we can do that. And we'll go back and pick off as many hero stones as possible. Great, but we did get through the first one. Three to go. The path of war. War. As I believe that was the. Oh, that was the beginning of two. And you know, he saves the kid back from Kreese who gets pissed that his student only got second in the All Valley. And there's that one. Very nice for a team that's ranked 49. Doing quite nicely against teams 20 ranks its senior. At 69. Thing is, if I was at 69, these would be past the basic purple.
And now to the boss, where there will be another one of my very weird voice acting assignments if we complete it with three star. Lost all five. Did not see that coming. Lost all five heroes there. Did not expect that fight to do that to me. Let's resort. Bring the healer back in. Keep it manual. Astrops already at half. Hold the field around two to try to bring them a as close to full as I can before that round three starts. And two, if I start their heels here at the beginning of round two, hopefully they'll have their bars refilled again by the time round three starts. One left. Everybody but one has got their abilities ready. Shield up. Get the flowers going. Do the mega jump. Astroff used it on himself, the last rites. The flower going. Come on, this has got a chance. Got it. So as you see, as soon as you hit chapter 8, there are no more puzzle piece items available, but we'll play the last of them. Ten auroras, two blues, four purples this time. So, where's Aurora? Have I come here for naught? Who's that? Galahad, is that you? Help me! Hang in there, I'll save you. I'm coming. Alrighty, and of course, unfortunately, they don't have the ability to put these in full screen, but at least now I've got it where I think it's still fully in screen. As soon as it actually wants to load it in. Alright, so we move the valves to be able to get rid of the goblin, but to be able to save both of the other two heroes. So, let's pull the cop.
pull the button. Can I? Okay. Now we'll pull that one. Here we go. So we get two of the lion recipes. Three of the dill. We get three hearts. Three candles. Three of the funeral totems. And three of the dragon shields. Recipes. And it was only distracted for a second. But it was enough to end up in that silly trap. Oh, silly me. What the hell kind of face is she trying to pull off here, Aurora? That'd be a good lesson to both of us. Dangers untold lie ahead and we must always be prepared for them. And again, that's the end of Chapter 7, Lit of Tribes. Now we'll come back here to the beginning. So we have between three to five spots for bosses in each chapter. To try to earn ourselves some hero stones. Hero stones are always needed because without them you can't progress your heroes up the star charts. Okay, so that completes Merch Camp. Mojo Stone, thank you. Mojo Stone again, double thank you. Nope, could not be nice enough to get a triple. That double's pretty nice. Chapter 2, Distorted Magic. Starting with Thea. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Three of them. Nice triple for Thea. That one's already been done. That one's already been done. Roar and Lava. No candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. And no candy. Not bad. Got four out of six attempts in Chapter 2. Chapter 3, Hardens Plateau. Starting with Phobos. Got one. Two for three from Phobos. Not bad. So around the line down here to good old Fox. No one on the first crack. Yes, on the second. One out of three, about average. Oh, that one's already been done, so we don't need to worry about it. And back to Mojo. Oh, for three. Now that was bad. Chapter four, The Deadlands, starting with good old little boy. Well, we don't actually need to worry about Heidi, because it's already been done. Yeah, it's already been done. Already been done. Chapter four has already been done previously in our previous battle, so okay. Chapter five. Done. Not done, so we can do that for Aurora. Got one. Two. Three for three. Nice pickup for the Aurora. Astro's been done. Mojo's been done. So that completes Chapter 5, the Kaidong Thicket. Chaos Realm here in 6. Done. Not done, so we can do this one. One miss. Two misses. Three misses. All three strikeouts on Fox there. Well, we do have the ability to go for Heidi here, though. Got the first. Fail on two. 
Got the third. And we're only going to be able to do two of these three with the energy at the moment. Perfect. And fail. Ah. Actually, let's finish them out. Since we have the new energy for 50. One of three. And the chapter we just finished, chapter seven. Already been done. Already fully been done. This one we can do for Thea. This on one. This on the second. Got it on the third. It's one out of three. We got the free one automatically on the first one when we just won. Miss on second. And miss on third. So that completes that round. Chapter 7 is in the books. Now they're trying to offer you Kira Stones for $15. So we have Rainy Seasons Tenacity. That gets you 10 jars. You would need to be able to figure a way to burn another 1,400 energy if you're going to get that jar. Only 25 is needed to trigger that one. If you're going to go for the here, that's 180. 180 definitely gives you that one, moves you to 555, which then puts you only 145 from there. However, 367 puts us 33 away. From the 12 jar. Is there any, is there even 33 left in the store if we fully burn? There's 10, 20. Oh, there is enough to do it because that's 40. Well, I'm not going to bother with that because that's a new one that just came in. So there is enough to do it. Can't do the final one, but there is enough that you can do 33. Well, we'll take the two closest there. That we will show in a bit. That's the that's one of the new sections that opened up for level 50. Fifty, fifty-five, fifty. Evolve, evolve, summon. I'll take high just because it's a summon rather than an evolve. And we'll take two there. Am I still shy? Yeah, I need 10 more. Need 10 more. Fifty. Uh, give me Dante and Lilith then. We'll do that for the 10 more. All right, so we'll get our 12. Okay. So that gets 12 jars. 180, of course, would do that at just seven.
However, I could also just open up regular Outland Winds instead. There, I would have to actually win full three to open an eight to open the next one. Uh, I'm going to buy. Which one am I lowest on for stones? The agility blue. All right, we'll do a blue buy. And now you get the free one. Let's see if you buy on, that's 200, so it isn't really nearly worth as much to do it there. But now, come back in for the jars. You get seven and four. And we would need 245 more. To complete. Again, anything I'm going to do here, I have to do before cutting this part because there is going to be no time before that mission ends. Actually, Level 10, I mean level 50 is going to, of course, give us more of these to do. Which is what I want there, because 10 now makes it the 45 side of the counter. Before I worry about dumping extra into her, let me make sure that I have... The regular main individuals fully capped. Okay. Get her flowers up. Not going to do the 20 right now, but there we go. So that completes as much as I can get experience points wise there. That's. A new version, I guess a one-time version of the Little Lord of the Arena. I guess they're going to make sure they give you a good shot at getting a pretty decent number of the Grand Arena coins. Yeah, if you do real well, you can probably pick up pretty darn good prizes on that one. It's a three-day counter on it. But the only thing left is this, and you would need, what is it, 235 now. No, 250. That'll give us energy to play with in part three. And we'll finally complete out our last. Well, unless you want to spend another 300. Then you get eight more. Mm, no. 
definitely not for energy, though. If I'm going to spend 300, it'd have to be something actually worth it. Really? Okay, fine. Do it. Do a bottle. That way it's energy, but it's energy that can be capped out and kept. All right, we're definitely not buying any more because I'm not going another thousand for the next jar. Oh, but we do get energy and coins from this. 1300 is the next level here, but that we still have a couple days. All right, let's see before we end this portion if anybody did come back to the adventure. Considering that those are the only two chests lit, it's quite seeming that to be a big old no. I really don't want to let that go for only two chests. Okay, so we have another 200 energy available now for level 50. Let's go up just so we can give the tease for part 3 of what we're going to have available to do. We have the Grand Arena, which sits right next door to the regular arena. That we'll be able to rock and roll in. And what was the other item that was supposed to open up on 50? Because I thought it was up here. The elements is 60. Asgard is 65. What was that? Oh, I thought this was something different. Now it's just the ending of the circle. Okay. But I swore there was two, not one item that was supposed to come due at 50. So there's the Grand Arena there. Well, research and take a look. But for now, everything we have to do, we have completed for part two. Until then, remember, release the Krakens. Help us to get to our like and view count goals. And may every battle in Dominion for you rock and roll.